Hey guys, it's Ifter, and I'm back with more remothered, tormented fathers. And, uh, we're gonna try and put together the film projector this time. Which took way too long, and was way more difficult than I had anticipated it being. Um, okay. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's for the projector. Sure makes a lot of noise. Mesmerism session with drug injection. Patient is Richard Felton. Mr. Felton, I remind you that you were sedated with a dose of phenoxyl and submitted to the constant swing of the metronome. Can you hear me? Yes. Breathe deeply. Keep your eyes on the metronome. I... I can't... Follow. Stay calm. Keep control of yourself. We are here for you, Mr. Felton. What day were you born? February 16th. Can you tell me which day today is, or your wife's name? Uh, Ariana. We're in March, I think. I don't remember. I, I can't remember. That's normal. It's part of the mesmerism process. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the metronome. You are now in oblivion. What is the first thought that comes to you? Celeste. On the swing. Happy. Celeste, can you see her? Keep visual contact. I see her back. She, she's still swinging. She, she can't hear me. Why doesn't she hear Mr. me? Mr. Felton, keep calm. What you see is not material. It's a reflection That's of your subconscious. It's my fault. I knew this would happen. That she would escape. We were supposed to protect her so that they wouldn't find her. Who are they? But I never thought she'd come back. I thought her. Do you mean Celeste came back after she disappeared? She wasn't my little girl. No, she wasn't Celeste. She was Jennifer. Mr. Felton, who are you talking about? Who's Jennifer? When my father came back in, in 1940, it was like he was dead. No physical wounds, just broken inside. He changed. I have never liked or loved him very much, but the man that came back from Ethiopia was far from being the man that once left us. He came back to himself pretty quickly, but not how I wanted. Mr. Felton, were you abused by your father? Oh, no, never. He was a good man. Very strict, yes. A monster, but, but not that kind of monster. He never touched me. I, I was a disappointment to him. A wimp. Oh, look, it's a flower. What a nice flower. Don't let it touch my daughter. Do you think your daughter's disappearance is related to your relationship with your father? She, she should have never been born. My father, he... Help me to prevent me from hell. What? Oh, God, oh, hi. Is this why you came here, Doctor? I hope you found what you were looking for. I tried to warn you. You should have listened. Is it really worth it? Put yourself into this story? Stop, you bitch! <laughs> well, um... Oh, okay. Some what? things die and stay huh? dead forever! What? What's holding me up? Other What's going on? And just linger in time. Uh, sir, 
sooner or later, everyone will find out the truth. I already I told you something? the truth. My daughter left us. Just one afternoon. We never saw her again. Fucking liar! You said that she came back, didn't you? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. You, you have no idea of what I've been through. The pain. <laughs> and didn't you think of the pain your daughter's been through? Oh no, Celeste was the only bond between my wife and I. <laughs> Our marriage was more of a business deal than love. It was one of those arranged marriages where oh, okay. we only are the parents-in-law love each other. This has nothing to do with her daughter. On the contrary, it has everything to do with her. After she disappeared, Ariana and I were divided. But you said you were protecting Celeste. From who? It's more than you can handle, miss, and you would not understand. It's true. I might not be able to understand. But right now, I believe Celeste decided to leave be because she was terrorized by your morbid intentions. No, it's not true. And yet, sometime later, she comes back home to the lion's it's den. It's not true. One afternoon, she knocked on the door. I, I couldn't believe it. She was there. But it wasn't Celeste. It, it was Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer. Then you came in. God bless you. And thanks to you, I... I finally realized that Jennifer was to blame for my pain, my disease. I could not let her go away again. So one night I slipped into her bedroom, and there she was, tempting me. I could not let her hurt us again. No, can't be. And yet, you saw her body. I, I had to. I, I didn't have any other choice. Disgusting. Murderer! You're a murderer! Oh God, forgive me. Forgive me. I was just following her orders. You, you came to us to, to free us from evil. Oh, God. What? I will try, I guess. Why not? I don't understand why the guy who was fine with murdering before now wanted a conversation. But whatever. It's fine. Uh... Remember the buttons. What? What the hell am I looking at? I beg you. I beg you. Yes, please, old man. Open it up. Give me another chance. I will. I will. What are you talking about? You can't run from your sins. Who even are you? even is that? I also like how the old man is scared of him. Alright. Oh, can I turn that off?
Okay. Well. I, uh... I have to hide myself from the red nun. Completed. Cool. That's a, That was a nun? What, what's my new goal? Uh... Um, okay. Whoa! Hey, wait! Stay uh, uh, back! Okay, that actually kind of creeped me out. Red nuns of Crystal Morente, cultivation workers. During that fire at the field, someone survived. It's her. I've recognized her. It's like she's followed Celeste. She shut up at the door a few days after her return. Grand Richard, this is a divine sign. Thinks this will help us have our baby back. This is bullshit. She is our baby. His obsession for Jay will end up killing us all. That nun, one of the workers in the field, the Ashman's daughter. She succeeded to control those disgusting moths. She became part of that thing herself, but I've smoked her out. She seeks revenge for the prototype 2 of Phenoxyl, for everything we've done. Now she's persuaded Richard to lock me at home. The small bedroom is Celeste. There's no much I can do here. I should have done something. I should have stopped Richard and that damned Wyman when I could. Things went out of hand. I have to do something now. I have to react. I have to do it for her, before the sessions take effect, before I forget, before it's too late. Cortisone can still blind them, it can kill the- just happened.
Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what that cutscene was supposed to be if there was one. Yeah, okay, Red Nun. Okay. There we go. Alright. I guess we can go up in here. Why not? This seems like a good idea we're having right now. You know I'm good at having good ideas and not... Okay, alright, the scud. This is a good place to be, and not a place of nightmares. Hey, guess what? Guess who's gonna be hiding up here in all of the mannequins? Like, okay, it's not that one, because clearly. Oh, dear God. Oh, wait, what's this? Seems like a little girl lives in there. In here. Not in there. Be a very, very little girl if she lives inside of there. Okay. Ah, good. Hi. Mm hmm. Blood on all those baby dolls. This is good. One of those is Celeste. New house, new deal, new life. Oh, never mind. Sorry, this is Jennifer, not Celeste. I'm Jennifer! Is Jennifer crawling on the ceiling? No. Okay, good. However, she is. She looks very confused, actually, about the state of affairs. Man, is she tall! What? Uh. Okay. All right. Uh. Let's play. Don't want to. Play again, Doctor Reed. Don't want to play a game. Don't want to play a game, Jigsaw. Did I die? Thanks, weird TV man. The responsible authorities are trying to make light of what has happened. Now let's go to the report. Chodoscoro. A phone line repairman was attacked this morning in an underground car park. Why am I the here? The camera show a blonde woman in suit with an elegant, innocent air about her who approached the man with the pretext of lighting a cigarette. <laughs> oh, you are not doing good. The woman then attacked the man, wounding his head. The wanted person, aged between 30 and 40, then browsed to the man's briefcase containing confidential information about the user who asked the phone line to be repaired. She stole the van and started driving to an unknown destination leaving the man unconscious. The authorities are now checking for any evidence that the woman might be looking for a particular address. Although the man is now out of danger, he has suffered lesions and a concussion and has been admitted to a hospital nearby. Oh, we, we heard a few somebody hours ago, to get here. The authorities okay. provided an identikit of a woman based on the victim's description. We invite you to contact us if you find yourself in the presence of this woman. Or if that you have woman looks like you. Who, who are you? 
I hope you'll forgive me for before, but, but you mustn't touch my things. My things are mine. You mustn't. That photo in the loft. What happened to that door? Richard made it disappear. He doesn't want anyone to go in. That's fine by me. What do you mean? That door no longer exists. There is now a wall. A wall behind the fireplace. A fireplace? There, you're gonna find what you're looking for. Why is that Okay. Do not want medicine. She mad? Well, I want to go save. Stupid. Okay. So we have we have an old man who's scared of the nun. Okay. We have the nun who's looking for the girl. And we have the girl who just wants to watch a little TV. Save me for a large design. I'm going to attempt to save my game. If they'll allow it. A child is dreaming in REM phase. <laughs> I just want to save my game. open and he already woke your head the sacrificial lamb will have his throat slit stop sinner you have a baseball bat don't you well as I continue running around this table trying to Get our friend to forget I exist. Uh... Okay, cool. That was easy enough. So, that's gonna be it for me for now. Uh, we, we saw a little bit more. Uh, saw two new enemies and... It is not a disease, nothing really gift. makes any sense. Uh, but, beyond that, uh, thank you guys for watching. I don't know why you have a lampshade on your head. Well, thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you liked the video, leave a like. You were one of us. You deceived us all. Um, yeah. Uh, if you have, uh, leave, sorry, uh, words are hard right now. The sinners, the heretics, Go ahead and leave a comment to see what you're thinking about this game so far. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate you doing so. And until next time, everybody. Take care.